ஹாய் ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு கோடையோ திஸ் இஸ் டே லெவன் ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் அண்ட் த கொஷன் ஃபார் டுடே இஸ் கால்ட் கன்வெர்டிங் அரே இன் டூ சிக்ஸ் ஆக் ஃபேஷன் ஓகே தெரி மீ ஜஸ்ட் ரீட் த கொஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸோ கிவன் அண்ட் அரே ஏஆர் ஆர் ஆஃப் டிஸ்டிங்ட் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சைஸ் என் ரீஅரேஞ்ச் த எலமெண்ட்ஸ் டு ஃபார்ம் அ சிக்ஸ் ஆக் அரே ஓகே ஸோ வாட் தே ஆர் ட்ரைங் டு டெல் இஸ் தட் தி அரே தட் யூ ஆர் கிவன் ஹேஸ் ஓன்லி டிஸ்டிங்ட் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஆஃப் என் சைஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் you are supposed to rearrange the elements in this array so that the second element is greater than the first element and is also greater than the third element okay so it, it is in that zigzag fashion right so uh, we we'll see this example and you'll understand it better so if you try to represent these numbers in a bar chart uh, three the bar for three should be somewhere around like this and uh, for 7 should be like this and for show, uh, for 4 it should be like this and uh, for 8 it should be like this and uh, for 2 for 6 and for 1 so if you try to uh, see there is a pattern like uh, zigzag right up down up down and up down okay so this is the fashion that they are trying to uh, execute right so you are given an array which is randomized so this is the input array and that is not in this fashion and you are supposed to make this array such a is in, uh, like rearrange the array in such a way that it makes a zigzag fashion right so um, it's quite simple the logic actually that we are going to use is quite simple just we are just going to uh, traverse through the array and we are going to swap these numbers so we'll see how are we going to do that now Uh, let me just erase these things and um, move this question away so we can work with the test case right okay so this is the test case that we have and uh, n is 7 right those are uh, the size of the array is 7 and the array elements are 4 3 7 8 6 2 okay so these are the array elements and you are supposed to convert it into uh, a zigzag array and this is the output that we require okay so what you are going to do is that you are going to traverse through this array and check the pairs okay so uh, we are going to traverse through this array and consider only two elements at a time right and we also are going to have something called a flag variable uh, you'll know why we have this flag variable quite later but uh, for now you can just assume that we have a flag variable and initially it is assigned to one okay so consider this you have a flag variable which is assigned to 1 okay now we are going to traverse through the uh, input array right now you are at the first element of the array and when you are at the first element of the array you are going to consider the first two elements because we are going to work in pairs right so we are considering first two elements and you are supposed to bring them in ascending order right or the increasing order because a zigzag starts with uh, increasing uh, curve right okay so that is what we are going to try to achieve so we are going to see if the first pair is actually in increasing order are they in the increasing order they are not okay so you are going to switch them into increasing order so how exactly are we going to do that you are just going to swap these numbers so once you try to swap these like you can assume this is uh, i index so this will be i plus 1 so you are just going to swap i and i plus 1 right it's quite simple and you will end up with 3 4 7 8 6 2 1 so this is the array that you are going to end up with after completing the first swap right so now uh, you can just move the uh index by 1 right so you are moved to the next element and once you do that you are going to flip this flag right so what exactly do i mean by flip initially the flag value was 1 and now you are going to change it to 0 okay now for the second pair this is the second pair right 4 7 okay so this is the second pair that we are going to consider now and for this pair it should be in decreasing order because we have completed this rising part and now we have to complete this falling part right so it should be in the decreasing order or they in the decreasing order they are not because 4 7 is increasing order so you are going to swap these numbers so 
it would be 3, 7, 4, 8, 6, 2 and 1. Right. So, we have completed one mountain. So, 1 increasing and decreasing. Now, we are going to increment the value of i and it will be pointing at 4 now which is the third element in our current array and now we are going to consider the next pair of elements. So, it is 4 and 8. So this is, this is the pair that we are considering now and this again should be a rising pair. How do we know that? Because for our, once completing one swap, we are going to flip the value of flag and when the value of flag is 1, it should be in increasing order and when the value of flag is 0, it should be in the decreasing order. That is why we have this flag variable, right? So, 4, 8, it should be in the increasing order because the value of flag is 1, right? And they are actually in the increasing order, 4 and 8 increasing order, right? So, it's not a problem. You can move to the next element, right? Now, uh, the uh, i value is at 8, right? And the pair of elements that you are going to consider now is 8, 6 and flag value has been switched because for this next pair it should be what decreasing order ok so we are going to check if they are actually in decreasing order 8, 6 it is in decreasing order so it's fine so you are just going to uh, flip the flag so it will become 1 now and you are going to increment the value of i so it will point at the next element which is 6 and uh, yeah so the next couple of elements that you are going to consider are 6 and 2 right this should be in increasing order because the value of flag is 1 but they are in decreasing order so you are going to swap these numbers so you would end up with 3 7 4 8 2 6 1 right because we have just swap these numbers because they should be in increasing order and uh, we are just going to flip the value of flag it should be 0 now increment the value of i so it should be pointing at the second last element which is 6 now and the elements that you are considering right now are 6 and 1 and the current value of flag is 0 so it should be in decreasing order as you can see they are actually in decreasing order so it's not a problem so it's fine and uh, it is it that, that we have reached the end of the array because uh, you cannot check this for the last element right because the last element there is no uh, element next to it to see uh, if the pair is increasing or decreasing order so we are just going to do this up until the second last element that is i less than n minus 1 so that is the last index that you are going to check for okay so this is the logic it's quite simple i hope you understood it now we will try to program this and see if it works Okay, so here we are in Geeks for Geeks and I will leave the link to this question in description and you can try to solve this after this video. So, as we already did, we are just going to create a flag variable initially and we are going to initialize it to 1. So, what does 1 mean? 1 means it should be increasing and 0, mean, 0 means it should be decreasing. Okay, so after this you are just going to traverse through the array. Okay, so for int i equals 0 and the condition is that i should be less than or equal to n minus 1 right not equal to just less than n minus 1 fine okay so i less than n minus 1 because we are going to traverse until the second last element of the array okay if you are going to traverse until the last element it should be i less than n but we are just checking in pairs right so it should be n minus 1 okay so here is the for loop for that and you are just going to check if it is increasing or decreasing based on the flag value so if the flag value is actually 1 so if flag equals equals 1 it should be in increasing order right so we are going to check if array of i is less than array of i plus 1 so if array of i is less than i plus 1 you don't have to do anything okay so why did i write that condition it's fine you can just uh, swap it or you can use an else condition to do that but uh, i'm just going to reverse the sign so uh, if the value of flag is one it should be in increasing order so if it actually is in decreasing order you are just going to swap it so if array of i is greater than array of i plus one it means that it is in decreasing order and for the value of flag equals one it should be in increasing order and hence you are just going to swap 
okay so swap swap of r of i comma r of i plus 1 right so similarly for uh, the else condition where flag is zero right in that case you are going to check if array of i is less than array of j i mean array of i plus 1 right so in that case the value of flag is zero so it should be in decreasing order and this condition says that array of i is less than i plus 1 so it is in increasing order so in that case we are just going to swap again swap of array of i comma array of i plus 1 that is it so after this you are just going to flip the value of flag so flag equals not of flag okay so if flags value is 1 it would be 0 if flags value is 0 it would be 1 okay so this is it this is the entire logic and and take code for that now we'll try to run this and if it works so every test case has been passed and i uh, hope you found this logic uh, understandable and if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll get back to you and uh, the time complexity for this logic is just order of n and we haven't used any space so it is constant space which is order of 1 okay so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching see you on day 12 of 100 days of code bye for now